All right, so ChatGPT's newest image update is literally one of the craziest things I've ever seen. And this new update allows us to upload basic images of our product like this into realistic models that actually wear our product down to the very detail. We can even take this product right here and have ChatGPT create a realistic image of a man in his 50s laying his neck on top of this device. And we can even take beauty products like this light therapy wand and have ChatGPT create realistic selfies of people using the product and acting as if they're posting it on their Instagram story. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all of the different examples of images that I've created using this new feature and some of the use cases that you can apply right now to take advantage of your competition and make more money with e-commerce and dropshipping. But let's get straight into it. So let me take you guys over to the first chat room that I created to test out this new feature. And what I did is I uploaded this random image that I found from this brand who was selling these serum bottles right here. And then I just asked them to make an image of a female model holding one of the products. So not all of them, just one, and then keeping the exact same ad style the same. And then look at the image it was able to create. It kept the exact same headline. And now we have a model holding one of the bottles that was in that photo. So pretty crazy. And then what I did after is I uploaded the image on a separate chat room and this time I said to create an image of a young female influencer in her bathroom holding one of the serums with a smiling expression and then also taking the photo with her iPhone so that it doesn't look too professional. And this is the image it was able to create. And the coolest thing about this feature is that we can also make certain changes or edits to whatever image it generates for us. So in this case, I just said, now make her apply the serum on her cheek. And we can see that we have an image of the girl applying the serum to her cheek now. So again, really insane stuff. And honestly, this is really mind blowing. So let's go back to this clothing set here. And as you can see, we have a model who's actually wearing this exact clothing set. And after it generated this image, I went ahead and asked them to create a side angle view of the same model wearing the set. And you can see that it was able to do just that. However, it did change the color of the set. And that is because I did upload two different colors to begin with. So I'm sure if I just simply tell them to maintain the same blue color, then it would definitely do that. But this is really just to give you an idea of what you can really be doing with this ChatGPT model. Because let's say if you're running a fashion store, you don't even need to pay for expensive photo shoots when you can literally have ChatGPT create all of the images that you need and you can simply upload them into your store. So while this feature looks pretty cool, I wanted to give you guys some actual use cases that you can apply to all of your stores to help you make more sales. So the first use case would be to take advantage of this tool to help you create more social proof images, which should ideally help to increase your conversion rates. So going back to this neck traction device that I showed at the beginning of this video, we can see that I created this image of a 50 year old guy who's laying his neck on top of it. And this is definitely something good that we can apply directly onto our product pages. And this is going to be a great way to help separate ourselves and make our store look more branded because we're not going to be using basic AliExpress images with white backgrounds like this. And to take it a step further, I went ahead and asked ChatGPT to imagine that they're a 60 year old woman who's genuinely happy with receiving the product and is basically taking a photo with her iPhone to share it to the world that she received her product. And this is the image it was able to create. And it really looks like as if this girl actually posted this on her Instagram story. Now, of course, the text on the screen looks a little bit big. However, I think this is a pretty solid photo that we can use as social proof on our websites or even something that we can repost directly on our brand social media profiles. And then what I also did is I asked ChatGPT to create an image of somebody taking a photo from the first person perspective to make it look like they're actually unboxing the product, which again is something that we can apply on our product pages or even in the review section of our store because it's really going to give this feeling as if people are actually buying the product and actually receiving it and are happy about it. And going back to this image right here, as I wanted to explain how I actually produced these results. What I did is I uploaded this image of the light therapy wand and similar to what I did with that older woman with the neck traction device, I just told them to imagine that they're a 40 year old TikTok beauty influencer with millions of followers who's using this product with their skincare routine and then pretty much same instructions. You can go ahead and pause this video so you can see this prompt and use it for yourself. And this is the first photo it was able to create. So it was pretty good and it actually looked pretty organic. However, they did mess up with the text on the screen a little bit and I actually wanted them to act as if she was taking a photo from the front facing camera. So I went ahead and asked ChatGPT to make a couple of those changes and then it generated this image right here. However, I noticed that the product was kind of close to her chin. So then I asked them to apply it on her cheek instead. And you can see it was able to make those changes accordingly. And the text on the screen seemed to have fixed itself as well. And then I wanted to take it a step further and told them to smooth out her forehead wrinkles just a little bit. And we can see that it actually replaced it with an entirely different model, which is completely fine, honestly. However, the text on the screen ended up getting messed up 
up again. So I told them to fix the typos and now we actually have a pretty solid image that we can use as social proof for our stores or even use it as an ad. And this leads me to talk about the next use case and by creating images that we can actually use as ads on Facebook. So what you can do is just look out for certain photo ads that have ran well for other brands and simply ask ChatGPT to replace that product with your own. And that is exactly what I did. So I just uploaded the image of that ad creative and then also an image of my product and then simply told them to model after the exact photo creative and then just replace the product in that girl's hand with this light therapy wand and just look at the results it was able to create for me. Not only did it replace that product really accurately, but it also replaced all the text on the left hand side with actual benefits that has to do with red light therapy. And let me just give you a quick side by side comparison just so you can really see how accurate ChatGPT is when it comes to modeling after other creatives. And we can also do the same things with clothes as well. So I'm going to take this fashion ad that I found off of Pinterest, which is a really common ad style that a lot of clothing brands use. And again, I just uploaded the ad creative into ChatGPT as well as images of the cargo pants as well, and then told them to replace the girl in jeans with the cargo pants. And just look at the image it was able to create. Again, I'm gonna give you a side-by-side -side comparison. Just look at how accurately it replaced all of these small images on the left-hand side with images of the cargo pants. And it even changed the text to exactly what I wanted because I told them to change the price to $59. And we can see that it literally changed just that. And now let me show you another strategy that you can use to outmarket all of your competition with better image ads. So for example, what you can do is go on the Facebook ad library and then just search up something like spring sale, just so that you can see all of the other different advertisers who are probably running some sort of sale for spring. And then you could just take some time and look for specific image ads that are pretty terrible and see how you can improve upon them by basically implementing everything that I just went over with you guys. So for example, if you come across another store who's using this really low quality image of a shirt, what you can do is take this exact image, plug it into ChatGPT so that you can have a real model who's actually wearing it and then potentially run that as an ad. Now, of course, with the Facebook ad library, we don't really know if any of these ads are actually working and it's gonna take a lot more time to actually find products that are validated. So instead, I'm gonna use Manea so that I can find ads that are actually working right now through the Facebook ad library. And what I'm gonna do is make sure that we're only looking for image and carousel ads. We want to make sure that we're only looking at Shopify stores. We want to ensure that all of the ads are actually active. And we wanna make sure that all of these ads are running for at least more than a week because no advertiser is going to be running ads for longer than a week if it wasn't actually working for them. And then from here, I'm just gonna look out for certain dropshipping stores that are running image ads successfully and see how we can actually improve upon it by generating better images through ChatGPT. So after a bit of scrolling, I ran into this product right here that looks like they have been running for longer than 14 days. And we can see that they're actually successful just with this really basic image of this shirt. And because this is a shirt that looks like it is targeted for men, what I would personally do is try to find some of the biggest brands that are also selling clothes for men. In this case, I've always ran into ads from this brand called True Classic, which is absolutely killing it. And they run a lot of ads that we can actually model after. Now, the easiest way to find out what ads a specific brand is running is by using the Manea extension. I'll leave a link down below so that you can install it. And from here, we have a lot of details that we can get out of this store. We can see all of the different products that they're selling. But most importantly, what we're looking for is their best active ads. And then we can go ahead and click on see more. And we basically have an entire database of all of their successful Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, and even TikTok ads. But what we're really looking for here is all of their successful image ads that we can model after. Because as we can see here, a majority of their ads are video ads, which is definitely good and something that we can also do. But if we want to quickly test products like this, and especially if we know that a competitor is seeing success out of just an image ad, then we also want to try to test a better image ad than them. So what I'm going to do instead is go directly on the Manea platform. We're going to go on their Facebook ad database. And then I'm just going to type in the name of the brand, True Classic. I'm going to filter everything by a minimum of a thousand likes. And then I'm going to filter by their image ads only. This way we could see all of their winning image ads. And it looks like this advertiser for this same exact shirt also had the same mindset as me and actually modeled some of their ads directly off of True Classic. But we could see these two image ads right here were actual ads that were ran by True Classic. And what we could do is just click on it and then go directly to the ad link. And then what I'm going to do is just save this image and then just upload the image of the product that I want to sell. And then also the image of the ad creative that we just downloaded. And what I did is I asked ChatGPT to create 10 catchy and captivating headlines specifically for this product so that we can replace it for this one right here, because it doesn't really make sense to use this headline for this type of product, given that it is pretty different. And you can see it gave me some of these results, but I didn't really like what it did. So I just told them to give me something with a more raunchy and witty tone. And I kind of like this headline right here where it says classy on the outside naughty on the inside. I thought it was pretty witty and funny. And once I decided on my headline, I basically just prompted ChatGPT to create the exact same ad as the one that we uploaded right here and basically replace the shirt and the headline with what we want. And just take a look
look at the results it was able to create, so you can see that the headline is pretty on point, classy on the outside, naughty on the inside, and it even added a few of these witty benefits, which we could always, of course, ask ChatGPT to edit if we don't really like any of these. But this is really meant to serve as a solid base that we can actually use to run as a Facebook ad so that we could try to compete with this store who is still just running this really basic photo ad. But instead, we're just using different types of headlines and different ad styles to try to speak to different audiences and hopefully outmarket the competitor. And then if we want to take it a step further, we can also apply some social proof exactly like we talked about in this video and ask ChatGPT to generate some images of models actually wearing the shirt. And you can see that it generated this really realistic image of this guy wearing the shirt and it honestly looks pretty good on him. And then I also asked ChatGPT to create something more organic. And we also have this image right here of this guy taking a mirror selfie wearing this exact shirt. And honestly, guys, the possibilities are pretty endless with this. If we want to make more ads for, let's say, this light therapy wand, we can also model after successful brands that are in a similar niche. So this brand called Nude, I've always ran across their ads on my Facebook feed, and they actually don't really sell red light therapy products. However, they are in the beauty niche, and they definitely have some image ads that we could probably model after. And just like what we did before, I can open up this extension and just get an idea of some of their best performing ads. And we can see this ad right here is actually one of their best performing image ads. And what I'm also going to do is download this ad, and then I'm just going to upload that exact ad image, and then also an image of the light therapy wand. And I'm just going to say recreate the exact same ad style as the first image attached and replace the product with the light therapy wand from the second image. Adapt and change the headline and text with benefits of red light therapy. And now let's wait to see what it's able to create for us. And there you go, it was able to reproduce that exact ad pretty much accurately. Let's go ahead and give a quick side-by-side -side view to see just how accurate it copied everything. And it even replaced the headline and replaced all of these different benefits that actually have to do with red light therapy. Now, of course, if you wanna actually create ads that are going to convert with Facebook ads, you definitely should do some more research with your niche and whatever product that you're selling so that you're actually using different headlines that call out different types of people so that it can actually stop their scroll and captivate their attention. Because if you use boring headlines like tired of dull skin, like this is not captivating at all. And this is really just a sign of really poor marketing skills. So I'm going to end off this video to give you one more golden tip that you can use to help generate more results out of your image ads. And this is going to be a multi-step process and it might be a little bit confusing at first, but I want you to stick with me here as much as you can. So the first thing that you want to do is open up a brand new chat room on ChatGPT. Ideally, you want to switch this model to the highest one that they have available, which in this case is ChatGPT 4.5 keep in mind that you're going to need the paid plan in order to use this. And what we're going to do is ask ChatGPT to help us create a ChatGPT prompt. I know that's kind of funny, but what we're doing is asking them to help us create a prompt that we can use to ask ChatGPT itself to help us perform a deep dive research to help us find all the needs and the desires that our ideal customer wants out of a red light therapy wand like this. And once it generates the prompt, all you have to do is copy everything here. And then you want to open up a brand new chat room once again. And you just want to download some images off of AliExpress for your product so that ChatGPT could just better understand the product that you're selling. And then we're going to go ahead and paste in the exact prompt that we generated from this page right here. And this part is crucial. What you're going to want to do is turn on this feature that says deep research, because this is one of the newest features from ChatGPT, which is actually going to spend a lot of time and look all throughout the internet, such as Reddit threads, other social media platforms, a bunch of different articles, and really try to find out what our ideal customers are saying that they want out of skincare and what are the type of solutions that they are looking for so that we can actually make better headlines that really captivate their attention. So go ahead and just paste in that prompt and then it's gonna take a little bit of time and probably ask you a few questions just to make sure that it's actually going to give you the results that you're looking for. So in this case, I'm gonna say that I'm selling this on Shopify. I'm gonna say that my niche is beauty and skincare. I'm gonna say that I'm selling this to the US and I'm gonna say that I'm gonna sell this product for like a mid-range type of price and then go ahead and press enter and then let's see the type of results it's able to create for us. Now do keep in mind, this is going to take a little bit. It could take anywhere between like five to 15 minutes. So I'll go ahead and come back when the results are finished. And after about eight minutes, you can see ChatGPT just generated a full on report telling us everything we need to know about our ideal target audience, all of their needs and desires, but most importantly, the language and phrases that they use so that hopefully the headlines actually resonate better with our target audience. So using the same chat room, you can go ahead and ask ChatGPT to help you create 10 unique engaging headlines that you can use for your Facebook image ads. And of course, if you don't like any of the results that it gives you, 
you can simply just go up and copy this entire report and then paste it into another AI platform that is similar to ChatGPT, such as Claude, because this platform is actually known to create pretty good scripts and headlines, especially for e-commerce. And then once you have a headline that you're happy with, in this case, I'm gonna go with this one that says, glow so good, no wonder what you did last night. The last step would be to open up another fresh chat room, but this time we're gonna switch the model to GPT-40. And now we just need to upload an image ad that we wanna model after. So I could just go back into the nude website and then use the Manet extension. But instead of using this creative like we did before, I noticed that they also have another image creative that did really well. And if we click into it, we have all the info that we need directly from Manea. But best of all, we can download the high quality image file for this. And then now I'm just gonna upload this into ChatGPT and then also upload the image of my light therapy wand. And then I just quickly wrote out this prompt, which is pretty similar to what I've already shown across this video. And let's go ahead and see the results it's able to create for us. And we can see that this image ad looks pretty good. Now I will say that the text is a little bit too close together, but no worries because you can easily just download this, put it into something like Canva and then simply erase all of this text and then replace it with your own. However, this gives us a really nice foundation and a good base that we can start out with to try to run as ads for our own product. So again, I highly recommend just taking advantage of an ad spy tool like Manea so that you can try to look out for the best ad creatives from other successful brands so that you can keep on modeling after them and create ad creatives that could potentially work for your own. And then of course, you can also use the Facebook ads database and filter everything by image ads that are running longer than seven days so that you can just look out for other dropshippers that are running really terrible images such as this. And then just use ChatGPT to help you create much better quality images that you can run as ads, but also put into your store so that you can outmarket all of your competitors. So again, I'll leave a link down below in my description if you wanna give Manea a try. And once you generate all of these different types of ads and you're ready to test them on Facebook, be sure to watch my latest tutorial up here, which gives you everything you need to know to create your first testing campaign and how to scale all of your products going into 2025. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up the end of this video. I hope you guys did find this valuable. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to this channel. And also join my free Discord group as well if you wanna be connected with like-minded entrepreneurs who are also doing e-commerce and dropshipping. And with all that being said, I thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.